Welcome back to the workshop. If you've done any amount of 3D printing, you know that the first layer not sticking well is one of the biggest reasons that prints fail. Now, there's a bunch of products and tips to help with this, but one of my favorites I've discovered over the past year is to add a PEI build sheet to your printer. PEI is a thin sheet of plastic that adheres directly to your heated build plate. Regular printing filaments like PLA and ABS seem to just stick to the build plate like magic and release with a little bit of effort once the build plate cools. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a PEI sheet onto your print bed, how to maintain it, and how to replace it should you ever need to. Now I'm actually filming this video in an odd order. I'm actually replacing the PEI build sheet of this Prusa i3 Mark II. The Prusa typically ships with a PEI build sheet, but after a year of printing, we've managed to tear a hole in it. You can add a PEI sheet to any printer with a heated build plate, so I figure I'd start there and then show you how to remove it at the end of the video. To start, remove your build plate from the printer or the glass plate if your printer has one. Use it as a template to trim both the adhesive sheet and the PEI sheet down to the same size. Use a sharp knife for both, but for the PEI sheet you really only need to score the surface. Once you have a clean line scored, it should snap easily along it. Clean your build surface thoroughly using denatured alcohol. Any grease or dust will spoil the adhesion. Peel back a corner of one of the backing sheets for the adhesive. Line it up with the corner of your build plate and tack it down. Use a flexible card, like a credit card or small squeegee, to spread the adhesive along the build plate, peeling up the backing sheet as you go, and working out any air bubbles. The PEI sheet has a protective backing on both sides. Peel off one of the backing sheets, and then peel away the top sheet of the adhesive. Again, starting from one edge of the build surface, I line up the PEI and press it into the adhesive. I'm using pretty firm pressure, working my way across the build surface, making sure there are no bubbles or bulges. Once you're done, peel away the last backing sheet from the PEI surface. Before printing, make sure that you re-level your build plate. For PLA and ABS, you shouldn't need to use any adhesive helpers ever again. For more exotic materials like TP or PETG, you'll find that these adhere so well to the PEI, you'll either ruin your print or the build surface by removing them. For these prints, use a thin layer of glue stick as a parting layer. You'll also need glue stick for printing in nylon. It has a tough time sticking to anything. If prints start failing, give your build surface a good cleaning with denatured alcohol. If that stops working, give it a wet sanding using 1500 grit sandpaper. And if that's still not working, it may be time to replace your PEI sheet. You can remove the old PEI sheet by removing your build plate and then placing it in your freezer for 30 minutes. This should help coax the adhesive into letting go. Find a corner and begin to lift up the old PEI sheet, separating it from the build plate. You'll find that much of the glue is still attached to the build plate. To remove this, cover the entire build plate with paper towels, and then saturate the towels with lemonade. Lemonade is pretty nasty stuff. Make sure you're wearing a respirator and protective gloves, and keep any pets out of the area. Keep the lemonine from evaporating by placing the build plate, towels and all, into a plastic bag and seal it. Leave it sitting for 40 minutes. After the glue is softened, use a flexible scraper, like these plastic razor blades, to scrape the glue off. Wipe the entire surface down, first with water, then with alcohol, and finally, you're ready to place your new PEI sheet. I hope this video has been helpful. Be sure to give it a like if it was. Check out the links in the description below for everything I use in this video, and hit subscribe for more projects and workshop tips. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.